Hello everybody, Matthew Fulton with Parkway Business Solutions and QB Community Live, the Facebook group. Today we're going to do a video that's going to talk about the QuickBooks Online Desktop app. Now if you haven't heard about this before, it's basically something that Intuit's created for their QuickBooks Online Advanced users to help people that are coming from the desktop environment move to online and make it feel a little bit more comfortable. So during this video, I'll show you some of the dashboards between QuickBooks Online, the app, and QuickBooks Desktop, so you can get a better comparison of exactly the three against each other. So to get us started, I'm going to jump into QuickBooks Online so we can kind of see that dashboard first. Now these are fake company files I'm going to be showing you, so it's not going to have all the exact detail and extra information you would normally see in here, obviously for privacy and security reasons. When, when I logged in today, I got this pop-up saying, you know, stay signed in, work efficiently, download the app. Super easy to download it. Don't think you need help with that specific part. You know, set it up, run it as admin, install it, and then you'll go through a process where you'll log in, and I'll show you most of that in just a second. It's very easy. The area they're really trying to, you know, draw your attention to is from QuickBooks Online. You can still see it here. It's your dashboard, and you're getting things done. They really compare this specifically to like a desktop environment where here again, this is the account version, same kind of concept though, but you've got these different areas of pathways of work that are supposed to be done. So, um, you know, if, you, if you're creating an invoice, the invoice comes before receiving the payment, before you do the deposit. So the arrow line's drawing you through all of this stuff. As well, on the side here, you have all of your different menu items. So the most common thing we hear from people when they're switching to QuickBooks Online is this one online your information, the data, you know, your choices look differently. And it does take a little bit of time to get used to using the new menus on the side. So let's look a little bit closer on what it looks like in desktop specifically versus the desktop application. The areas I would draw your attention to right off the bat, it's going to be a lot of the list items that are up top here. So you've got your file, list, company, customer, vendors, employees, banking, reports, help. When we go to our desktop, same idea. They're trying to really make that feel comfortable again. File, edit, view, list, favorite, count, well, count for mine, company, customers, vendors, banking, so forth. Then on the side here, you've got your, again, cash flow hub, income, build tracker. As you come down, you get to your bank area. So the way these are organized, going back here, income tracker, expense tracker, um, reports, banking's further down, cash flow hub. So they're using the same terminology back and forth to make it just more consistent and more fluid uh, for the end user, basically. So real quickly, let's go and we're gonna actually dive into what it looks like on a client setup, pretty much the same thing, but in a company file, same exact look, but you can see now I'm in a different uh, client's file instead of my actual firm's books. As an accountant user, so this is different from QuickBooks Online Advanced, and I wanna stress that part of it, but as an accountant user, we have these special accountant tools. So this will only exist for accountant users. It helps us process information, uh, you know, for closing out month, year end, specialized tools is why those exist. So you may not see that part. You can, of course, through here, if you'd like, you can switch away from desktop view. You can go back and forth quick and easy. So now this is going to mirror more of what QuickBooks Online is doing here instead go to the same kind of a concept so again it's kind of like i like to call it training wheels for going to quickbooks online same look now same idea same functionality between the two of them but the again the big benefit is they're trying to make this a little bit faster quicker and easier to go through and if you're switching between different company files that's probably one of the biggest benefits is the fact that you can switch so quickly through here through this side tab the difference to like QuickBooks Online, if I wanted to switch between my different companies, I'd actually have to go to the gear icon, go to switch company, and then it's gonna pull me back out to a whole different list of things I'd have to choose from again. So you can see it's taking up more time that way. Now earlier, one of the things I was talking about, one of the benefits of the new app is the fact that you can open up these different tabs inside of the same dashboard. So again, you're, you're getting away from that web browser. The reason you'd be doing something like that is sometimes if you're looking at different reports, if you want to dive into a specific number, you can click onto it and go into deeper detail. If you don't want to lose your space, you can, of course, create a new tab, would pop it open. I'll just close this one. 
And then you could pull up that same report and be able to look at multiple things at the same time. Now, I will say personally with QuickBooks Online, the thing I like a little bit better about it is when I try to do the same concept in QuickBooks Online, if I go to my reporting and pull up the same detail, I can actually click duplicate tab. It's a little bit different way to go about it. We'll change this to all dates here. Here, if I'm on this, if I right click, I go duplicate instead of just add tab. Now I'm exactly the same place. So here I can click boom, pull it up. And if I need to go back, I can click back and forth. So I still find that this capability is a little bit better on that duplication of tabs, but you can come down into here and you could be, you could set up different tabs for different tasks that you're doing. So maybe you've got one tab where you're writing the checks. Another one, you've got another tab, you're looking at the banking area. I don't know, something of that nature, of course. So hopefully this review of the QuickBooks online desktop application in comparison to the QuickBooks desktop product and QuickBooks online itself kind of gives you a better idea of the variations and the differences between the three. It's, they're all ultimately just trying to make it easier for you to get your accounting done in an easy way. I do love the fact that the desktop application, the online app desktop application, I should say, gives you both a desktop view and you can turn that off. So as I like to say, it's kind of like training wheels to get you prepared to do the other version. The beauty of QuickBooks Online, of course, is if you do go somewhere else and you're not able to be at your standard computer, you can still access your information very easily just by logging in online and the information, they act, it's all going to look pretty close to the same. If you found this video helpful today and if you're looking for more content like it, there's a couple places that you can go. First one, of course, is you can go to our YouTube channel, which is under Parkway Business Solutions, youtube.com forward slash Parkway Inc. And be sure to like and subscribe to be notified about extra future videos. Of course, we also have our Facebook group called QB Community Live. This is a community made up of bookkeepers, accountants, tax professionals, all focused around the idea of QuickBooks, accounting, business flow, helping answer questions for each other. So if you're having a difficult time trying to find a solution to something, it's a great group to go into, a free resource, and we'd love to have you join into it. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.